Um, looking back to uh, 2011 when you first came here, what uh, accomplishment are you most proud of or what, are, what two things or three things are you most proud of looking back over three years? Well, I thought about how to answer this question, whether to do it in the, in the uh, macro um, about concepts or whether to go into the micro about actual things. And I thought that um, people would rather hear about the actual things because to some extent I'm, I'm proud of some things that are just concepts like some of the partnering. Mm -hmm. But um, going to some of the partnering and, and, and making our academy more visible and uh, valuable, uh, one of the um, outcomes of that is NOAA, National Oceanographic and Atmospheric mm -hmm. Administration, the partnership that I formed with uh, Admiral Jonathan Bailey back in 2012 when Kings Point um, released that, that business line and uh, he came up here to ask me if we would consider taking that, that on as a business line. And uh, I'll give eternal credit to Captain Andrew Marcel for for um, making that work and, and fitting um, the NOAA's basic officer training course into the OCS program and uh, it is an amazing outcome. This is two years ago now and we've just this past time when Dr. Sullivan, Catherine Sullivan was up to preside at the, at the uh, NOAA, the joint NOAA and OCS graduation. She and um, Admiral Bush were both up it was the first time that NOAA, the NOAA class, had come in with our OCS class and graduated the same day. So NOAA, um, they're already officers yeah. when they come through their basic right. officer training, they're already commissioned. But they revert back and they wear officer candidate, uh, they, they respond to officer candidate status to, to fit in with our OCs. And they're a mature group of people who are probably already scientists, they're already mid-twenties, they're a little older, more, more experienced, and uh, just been a great asset to us here. What we're seeing is the partnering now with uh, the Shipwriter Program. We're seeing them over at the Research and Development Center. They're, they're partnering over with the R&D Center. Um, we're seeing at uh, a bigger Coast Guard level, a, um, the Commandant signing a strategic plan on the uh, inner, inner relationship with NOAA. And we're seeing uh, it going way beyond the Academy. And of course, there's always been a good relationship with NOAA. But I think that starting here at the accession source has just been a game changer. And we're going to see that magnified as the years go on. And young people who have trained together are now serving together um, in the NOAA fleet and the Coast Guard fleet. So I'm very, very proud and very excited about, about that.